please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. And I hope I don't have <laughs> lipstick on my teeth right now. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're gonna be covering my uh, favorite products from 2019 on the higher end version. I also plan on doing one of these for a uh, drugstore as well as a separate video for lifestyle, um, self-care, things like that, some skincare and, um, you know, just things that, uh, that I have discovered, uh, whether it's for hair, for the body, um, things that I've either discovered this year or that I've loved for a while that I've never talked about. So, so anyway, if this is something that you um, think you're interested in, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, even if you don't like it. Just to be nice just because just because of the holidays and you're in a giving if you're in a given mood a thumbs up would be great thank you so much um so let's get started okay so we're gonna start with um obviously prepping the skin i already have my skincare on so we're just gonna move on to primer now for a high end um i've discovered this one again it was in my drawer i don't know for a year or more and then i just rediscovered it a few months ago and i love it it's the cover effects primer come on zoom it is uh yeah they're blurring primer and this stuff is just amazing uh it really really it just blurs the pores in in a way that is just it kind of blew me away and it made me wonder why I, I stopped using it to begin with but you know it is there's so many new products always coming out and i'm always wanting to try new things and then sometimes things like this that are really really good just kind of get lost in the shuffle but anyway this is the uh, the blurring one which is what i use in my t-zone now for the rest of my face i usually like to going with something a little bit um, a little bit more hydrating um, more glowy and this is one that I've been using non-stop it's the Hollywood flawed flawless filter I can never pronounce that uh, Charlotte Tilbury and this comes in I think five shades I have um, number five ten um, so it has a little bit of tint to it it has a beautiful uh, luminosity to it and what I like to do is I just kind of apply it everywhere just a little bit um, you don't need much and this product is good for those no makeup days it's great to um, to just put this on um, and it'll give it'll even out your skin tone and it'll make it look like you have you know like you put a lot of work into your skin when in fact you didn't it's a, it's one of those products that it's so it's so awesome um, you know I struggle with doing these types of videos um, because I have a hard time describing things and so you'll hear me just say amazing wonderful magnifique well maybe not that one but um, you know I have a hard time I don't know if it's a language barrier because Spanish is my first language and um, sometimes even with like getting the names of colors um, I just kind of draw a blank so bear with me as I try to describe these products as we go along and which is why I thought it would be a better um, idea instead of just sitting here and telling you about my favorites I thought it'd be better to just show you um, you know and then hopefully that will make up for that lack of uh, communication there all right so we're done with that and then now I go in with the cover effects and um, put it in the in the zones where I have the enlarged pores and you don't need a whole lot and just I tap it in and it literally just makes them it's like magic guys and this has no scent um, it's emollient enough but it's but it's not like oily and uh, it's not drying at all it's um it's a blurring primer but it's not drying it reminds me a lot a lot of the benefit one um, what was that popular one I've mentioned it before which I really love as well but I have to say I, I actually enjoy this one more okay another one that uh, just I want to give it an honorable mention is the Smashbox primerizer this is a, a small size but um, this stuff is really really good also if uh, those days where you're feeling maybe extra dry or in the winter months where you know you need a little bit extra hydration this is a great one to go on um, you know before I would have used it if I was going to use all three I would put this on all over sort of like extra hydration then put this one on for the for the nice you know from within glow and then this one in the t-zone to cover the large pores 
Okay, now we move on to foundation. Let me make sure I'm recording here. Now we move on to foundation. Now, uh, there's one that I've loved for a very long time and I probably haven't used it much on camera, but this will always be in my collection. I love it so much. It's the Hourglass Stick Foundation. Um, and I don't know, I have the shade, this is shade three, it looks like, shade three. Um, I actually will not be using it today, but I did want to mention it. Um, this one is a little bit on the drier side. Not that it's a dry product. Um, you know, it is emollient enough and it is blendable, but I prefer to use this in the summer months because um, I find that it kind of keeps the the oils in check more, more so than, than a regular um, liquid formula. But today we're gonna go in with uh, a combination of, of two that I've been loving a lot, and I don't hear very many people talk about this. Actually, I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about it. It's the um, foundation from, um, oh my God, I just drew a blank. This is what happens. From Philosophy, Hope Renewed in a Jar. It's a skin tint. Um, and I have this, there's only, the problem with this is that they didn't release a lot of colors. I think maybe like six or seven, if that. And um, so I think that's part of why it was never, um, you know, a really popular product, but it is a beautiful, it is a beautiful product. And here it is, this is what it looks like. Um, now I'm going to mix it uh, with another one that I love. Uh, it's from Benefit. It's the Hello Happy Foundation. And this is like my summer color. And then this is uh, a little bit light for me right now. So what I'm going to do is just mix mix the two and then just put it on. And, and together, these work beautifully. I mean, they work beautiful on their own. Um, but I find that, I don't know, something about this combo that I've been really, really loving a lot. This has uh, the philosophy, it's a skin tint, but it does have, I would say, medium coverage. And this, this is like a solid um, medium as well. So I'm gonna mix these two and just um, apply that. So here they are. I mixed it in my little palette, which by the way, if you're curious about this, I got this on Amazon just like everything else in the world <laughs> we all get everything from amazon it seems but anyway five dollars amazon if you're if you're curious so and it comes with this little spatula oops i got some of that on my lip don't need it on my lips for sure um, my elf sponge Okay, now moving on to concealer. I have a couple that I absolutely love. The first one um, is a very popular one. It's the NARS Radiant uh, Creamy Concealer. Um, love this one. It's a hydrating one. It has a pretty good coverage. I would say medium um, coverage, but buildable. Then uh, the First Aid Beauty uh, Bendy Avocado Concealer. This one is very hydrating as well but it doesn't provide as much coverage. So if you're looking for something on the lighter side, this is a, a great option. Um, I do have something um, that I applied before the concealers and it's this uh, skin corrector from Urban Decay. Um, I think it only comes in this shade, but it is, uh, yeah, peach. So what I like to do is apply it just in the areas where I have a lot of darkness and it's in this area here. This product is so fine. It's really thin and it really blends into the skin. So even if you um, feel like you, you know, went over and applied too much, it, it doesn't matter. This product is, it, it just, like the skin soaks it up. I really, really love it. I've been using it um, for more than a year now. And um, I don't, it's lasted me a long time. I don't use it every day. Some days my, my eyes are not as bad, so I'll just skip this step. But uh, whenever I want that, um, you know, brightening effect, or I want to cover those really, really dark um, areas, this is a, a great option. Um, I'll go in with the NARS first. This one is too light for me right now. So what I what I do is I use it for this area here because I have these smile lines. If there could be, could be called that, um, they're not lines. They're like huge more like huge dense and so because this is lighter um i like to put this on and you know that helps to bring that um or 
presumably supposed to do that to help kind of blur a little bit those harsh that those harsh in, indents that I have. So I do that, then I take whatever whatever's left, and then, then I kind of highlight, go up and down, and highlight the center of my face a little bit, just without adding extra product. Now to conceal, I will be using the, uh, like I said, the Bendy Avocado from First Aid Beauty. And then with this, I like to use the sponge because that way it'll soak up any extra product that I may have. And with the under eyes for mature skin, less is, is better. Okay, so for powder, I have a couple of uh, favorites that I've been using all year round, some more than, than, than this past year. The first one is the very popular Laura Mercier, Mercier, I can never pronounce that, Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I like to uh, just dip my sponge in and then kind of do a quick bake. Not too much, but I find that I have to do this and I think I've mentioned this before. If I have, I apologize. The only reason I do this is because I do get a lot of transfer and I end up with raccoon eyes. And the only thing that I have found that helps with that, just set the T-zone with this powder. And then um, another powder, a finishing powder that I've been loving is uh, this is Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, a uh, flawless finish and I have the uh, medium tone and I've actually you can see how much I've loved it um, it's not very often that I hit pan on on my products but uh, this is a beautiful powder and I just take a little bit not too much and just lightly set the rest of the face Another powder that um, I have loved, another loose setting powder that I just wanted to um, mention and let you know how awesome it is, is the Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder. I have the shade um, Cashew. So I think this is like um, the, the very middle one. I, there's like six different colors and this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, finely milled powder. I find that it, um, I like it as much, if not more, than Laura Mercier, but this one adds a little bit of tint, um, obviously because they're different colors, so then it kind of gives a little bit more coverage, and while it blurs um, any imperfection, it really does a great job at um, you know blurring those uh, large pores as well. Um, anything that covers pores, I, you know, sign me up. I struggle with that. Um, okay, the next thing, let's see, we will go on to staying with Fenty. This bronzer I've been loving all year. It is their um, Sunstalker. Oh, sorry, I probably should have cleaned that. And the shade I have is um, Bayan Guile. Bajan Guile? I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is what it looks like. And um, it's a beautiful formula. This one pulls a little bit yellow on me, but not too much. Um, I have find that if I you know, just go in very lightly and build up, uh, I can, you know, control it. It's not a problem. But if you go in kind of, you know, with heavy handed, which, you know, I, I, I tend to do a lot, I have to kind of remind myself, okay, we're not trying to beat up my face. We're just trying to improve it a little bit. I just, I really do love this formula. And I know it's been on, on a lot of people's, um, favorite of the year. The blush that I picked out, um, there's a, a couple that I love, but this one really, really kind of, uh, I think, takes the cake. And it's from Alamar, sorry, Alamar Cosmetics. And I don't know, I didn't know whether I should put it in the this video, the high-end or the drugstore, uh, because this is not available at Sephora or Ulta. Um, only online and they are affordable they're not the, the the most affordable but they're not expensive either so they're kind of like in between leaning more towards the higher end so this is why I included it here it has these three shades um, I think I'm gonna go in with probably the middle one actually I'm gonna just mix these two
Okay, blush is on. Uh, now uh, let's uh, move on to eyeshadow. Now, I the top two that uh, were new releases this year, and um, I love them both equally. Um, the first one is uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Jackie Aina collaboration, and this palette is absolutely gorgeous. It's everything. Um, that uh, it's all the colors that I, I always gravitate towards and this one uh, especially because it caters to darker skin tones so um, I really really love it um, let's just create a quick look let's just do that Another product that I fell in love with, which is also a new release, is this Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. And boy, my palettes are dirty. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, as you can tell, I love my warm tones. But anyway, I wanted to um, dab into both of them since um, I'm showcasing both of these. So I, get, I think I'm gonna go in with um, this color here. And then staying with the kind of holiday vibe that we have going on, I'm gonna go in with this one. It's called um, Flox, right here. It's a beautiful shimmer. And we're gonna use just uh, any flat and shader brush. Okay, so moving along, let's go to our eyebrows. Um, let's see, this year I discovered uh, this one, it's called Billion Dollar Brow, and it's the shade is Universal Brown. Yes, Universal Brown. Um, it's really, it's creamy, it's, um, it's very glidey. So if you're one of those people that don't like, um, you know, when it's when it's really uh, glidey, then you may not like this. It's I find that it, um, if you struggle with app the application, this makes it a little bit harder because you know it kind of goes on so easily. So you kind of have to have a little bit more control. But if that's not something um, you know that you, bothers you, this is a beautiful formula. I find that I can just apply it so much quicker. See, I just tap it on and it's like, it's like there. Um, very easy to blend. Uh, I love this color so much. It's the only thing I see the tip is a little bit um, thick. It's not like your usual point um, tips. Like the next one that I'm gonna mention, the Anastasia Brow is, which everyone is familiar with. Um, or most of us are familiar with I shouldn't generalize see this is the tip on it so it's very thin and so what I do is I use the billion dollar brow up until here up until that point and then I come in with um, the Anastasia one because it's thinner so there's more accuracy I can focus it on on that end and be able to be more detail. Okay, same thing on the other side. And I know brows, people, most people, at least the YouTubers that I watch, everyone kind of hates brows and they find it time consuming and they, I don't know, I used to at first, but for some reason, I don't find this to be one of the things I struggle with as far as makeup application goes if anything it would be eyeshadow because 
there's so many um, techniques and uh, looks that I want to be able to to do and um, it looks easy when I watch other youtubers do it and then I try it on my oops I try it on myself and it's um, comes out very very different to say the least okay Brows are good. We're gonna move on to setting the brows. And this is a, an oldie but a goodie. I still love it, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. This one's almost done. There are a lot of, um, well, I don't know about a lot, but there are uh, other uh, more affordable options, which you'll see on my um, drugstore affordable makeup video, which will be hopefully coming up very soon, if it's not up yet. So brows are set. Um, so let's, what I do at this point, um, before applying mascara, I set my face. That way, um, you know, I, I don't risk having the mascara get wet and run. Uh, so anyway, I have a couple that I love and I wanted to talk to you about. This one is the Urban Decay Rebound. Um, it's a collagen infused uh, setting spray. You can use it as primer water. Um, it's awesome sometimes uh, when I'm using a stick foundation and I want to be able to where's my stick foundation anyway oh here it is when I'm, I use it in combination with this because um, I find that this brings moisture onto the skin obviously that's what it's for and then it allows for the application of this to be a lot more smoother and, and seamless because you know it, it allows the brush to kind of glide through um, so that that's a great one, uh, especially for mature skin. This one is an uh, an old one that everyone loves and have you know everyone's raved about this one for years. The Mac Fix Plus, and um, wonderful things, hydrating, great to uh, set your makeup, also to prep your skin, to refresh throughout the day. It's just an all around great great product. Um, then I, if you like a fine mist, Morphe by far. This is my third bottle, I think. Um, and I wish they actually made a bigger bottle, but um, this thing is amazing. And I'll show you right now. It has the finest mist. I think this was the first one that was out in the market w with this type of, um, you know, container or application. Then I think Huda came out with one, but that one did not really, was not that well received. I, I heard that it smelled like hairspray and that it was very, it had a lot of alcohol or something. But anyway, it didn't, it didn't do the job. This is beautiful and it hydrates your skin and it gives you that, you know, makes the powders all melt in and everything kind of come together. Um, highly, highly recommend this. Um, I, I don't see myself ever not, I don't see myself Ever not buying this beautiful and it has a nice smell another setting spray that I wanted to um, well to attach a luminous silk dewy this is great for the winter months because it is super super hydrating um, to the point that I think it has a little bit of comes off as having a little bit of oil in it and so for um, for oily skin gals uh, I don't know that I would recommend this but if you have dry skin this is a, this is a beautiful product and then something that uh, also has also been very popular and been around for a long time um, if you want your makeup to last all night like for let's say New Year's now where you know you want to really do that beautiful glam look but you want it to stay in place while you dance you sweat you you know whatever it is Urban Decay All Nighter will always be um, one of my one of my uh, go to's but only for special occasions because this does contain um, a small amount of alcohol so it's not something that I would recommend using every day because obviously alcohol is dry so anyway now that that now that I've set my face I go in and I curl my lashes now as far as mascara um, when um, when I upload my my drugstore favorites, you'll see that my favorite mascara of all time is a drugstore one. But there are some really good ones that are high end as well. Um, I just, for me personally, I don't believe in investing a lot of money in mascara because number one, because I have found this amazing one at the drugstore already. But not just that one. I think they've they've upped their game a lot. And mascara is just one of those things that I don't justify, you know, spending a lot of money on. So I'm very glad that I did find one. That's my holy grail. That's under $5 and you'll 
hear about that one um, on that video. Anyway, I love this one. It's from Clinique. Uh, it's a uh, high impact mascara. Uh, this is a smaller size. Oh, maybe taking that off would have been nice. But anyway, this is, um, it, it's a beautiful mascara for like the everyday. If you're looking to have a mascara that's going to make you look like you have falsies on, this is not it. This is good for like everyday kind of put together perfect lashes. This, this thing is amazing at separating. It makes each and every one um, of those lashes like stand out. It, it's great with lifting um, and it just gives you this really natural, beautiful, you know, lashes that, you know, one minute you don't have any lashes and then the next you're like, whoa, is that, are those mine? Those are gorgeous. I want them. Like I want to wake up and have these lashes on. I want to wake up like this. See the difference? A second coat and the way to keep um, you can make them long and you can go on and on all you do after the first coat the second or third coat after just go from the middle and then up don't go into the the lash line and then if you keep pulling up and up and up it keeps adding fibers to the tip and the lash just keeps getting longer and longer and longer now, mind you, this sounds like it's very, you know, hello, common sense, but I don't know. I didn't know this when I first started um, due to the difference now. I, I never used to kind of notice these things when I, you know, when I first started. And it's just, you know, just doing it every day. You kind of pick up on certain things. So I thought I would mention it. I'm sorry if I'm <laughs> stating the obvious, but... I don't know, so I find little things like this, like helpful hints, I, I always pay attention to those. I like learning as much, as much as I can, and I will forever remain teachable and always looking to, to learn and improve, and not just with makeup, obviously, this is, I'm, I'm more speaking like in general, as far as my life. Um, all right beautiful and it's also great for um the lower it allows you to really get in there so what i was forgetting was my eyeliner i i love eyeliner i barely ever leave my house without it um my favorite um of all time um for eyeliner and lip liners has got to be urban decay these are the these are three of my favorite ones i have others but these are the the ones that I use the most. It's a black one, which is called Zero. Um, there's the brown one, which is called Demolition. And then this like dark purple one, for some reason, I'm, I've always been drawn to like purple. I don't know. I, first, it's weird, but, but I do. Um, it's called Rockstar, this purple one. Um, today, we're gonna just do the brown. Okay, now that the eyes are finished, we're going to go ahead and move to highlighter. We're gonna to move to highlighter. And um, this was kind of, um, where did I, where's my highlighter? Okay, so I have a couple. Um, I didn't mention this palette, but I absolutely love this palette. It's from um, Hourglass, and this is um, the one that came out last year for the holiday. Sorry, that's super dirty. And this has um, a beautiful highlighter here in the corner. These two are blushes. So this is definitely to be part of my favorites, but um, I just wanted to go over some of the products that I didn't get to use. This is a bronzer, which actually I'm gonna put on a little bit because it's not a matte bronzer. This one has a bit of a shimmer to it, so when I do use it, I use it kind of almost as a, as a bronzer topper to just kind of bring a little bit more life to the skin. Um, because the Fenty one that I used, that was a matte bronzer, which, which that's what, I mean, that's what I go for, um, most of the time, but it's nice once in a while to have, you know, a little bit of just oomph. And then, um, the highlighter here, um, I don't know what it's called. I don't think it's sold individually, but, um, that's a beautiful highlighter here. I'll swatch it 
But as far as what I'm gonna put on today, here it is, gorgeous. But um, I will put that one aside. It's beautiful, but I wanted to show you this one um, that I adore. It's from Marc Jacobs, is the Honeydew, Marc Jacobs highlighter. The, these are the, their dew drops, and this one is, um, it's like a gel highlighter. It has coconut. Uh, let me just look it up. Yes, it has um, coconut. It's a coconut gel highlighter. This one is soft golden bronze. They have two colors. The other color is golden peach, which is uh, more for a uh, lighter skin tone. Um, so the way I apply it is I put some in the back of my hand. I massage it. I just kind of blend it in and then take my beauty sponge take the finer tip and then dab it in and then just um, kind of tap it. You can also use your finger. Um, like I said before, you can mix it with your foundation, with your primer. I mean, it's a very versatile product and um, I love it. And it has an amazing scent as well. Okay, so moving on to lips. Uh, I will always and forever not stop talking about this. this is the Laneige sleeping mask I have gone through so many I can't even begin to tell you I have I always keep two one downstairs one upstairs sometimes one in my purse but not um, but I always have this whether it's summer winter it doesn't matter I, I need it all the time and it's a beautiful beautiful hydrating um, uh, lip product and it has a hint of color to it but not much I remove the excess a little bit now I have found the perfect nude and the only um, the only drawback or if that's the correct term is that it's a liquid lipstick and for the most part I steer clear of liquid lipsticks because they can be drying and with mature lips you do not want anything that's drying but when I use this underneath, it, it really, um, I, I make it work. But it is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip, Stunna Lip, what do they call this? Let me look it up. It is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint. And my shade is um, Peachy Nude. And this is the perfect, perfect nude. Um, and I can see this working on all kinds of skin tone. It's not just here I'll, I'll it's not because of um because it's only for dark skin i could see this working on on so many people see and it comes on um looking very very hydrating but it does dry down it is a liquid lipstick another one that i discovered this year um i don't i'm pretty sure it wasn't released this year but it's from becca and it is in the shade 20. this is a perfect like peachy not peachy it's more like a brown, a uh, nude brown. Um, and I absolutely love this. Love, love, love it. It's hydrating. It's not like um, the liquid lipstick. This is super hydrating. Um, and it gives your lips like a nice um, shine to them. So what I do, what I like to do is put this one on. I then uh, line my lips, and the one that I have been using nonstop um, is this one from Alamar Cosmetics. I have two, but my favorite one is this one, which is called Dulce, which in, in Spanish means sweet. And then this other one is called, um, it's a darker, much darker. They only came out with, she only came out with two of these, but this one, is it's like a beautiful brown and these can be used as on the lips they can be used on the eyes you could even use this um, you could put it here and, and blend it in and use it as a as a bronzer or to contour um, I love these they remind me of the Urban Decay uh, formula very soft very they glide on they stay on um, it's just it's just beautiful and um, I just usually I line after I put the lipstick. I don't know why I do it backwards, but it for some reason it makes it works for me. Uh, 
Now, once I've lined them, then I go in with the, the Fenty uh, one, the liquid lipstick in Peachy Nude, I believe the name was. Can't see without my glasses, so I won't try. And what I do is I put this in the center. And when you blend it in, you get this beautiful. I just tap it in to, and you only need a little, little bit. Um, if you put a lot, these things can kind of just really spread out, which is why the, the using the lip liner is, is so important to kind of keep everything in. This is the finished look with my favorite products from 2019, high end. And um, like I said, I'm going to have this same uh, video with the affordable drugstore slash drugstore products. Um, I hope you will um, stay tuned and, and watch that when it when it's uploaded. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. And I hope I don't have <laughs> lipstick on my teeth right now. But anyway, um, I hope you had a great holiday. Um, have a beautiful, safe, happy new year. And um, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.